Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm going to be showing you how to make the wipe circle effect in After Effects. I'm going to have two ways that you can replicate this effect. It is very simple, as you can see, but uh, I've been getting a lot of requests to show you guys how this is done, so I thought maybe for my first video I would just, you know, do it, right? So, uh, as you can see, Kucherov has some blur and invert in the background, and then when the clip just starts, it just goes away in a circle effect. It's very nice. I use this quite often in my edits. I think it's pretty cool, but without wasting any more of your time, let's just get straight into the tutorial. So, as you can see, I opened up a new composition, imported my clip, and trimmed it to where I want to put the effect. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Control alt and t all at the same time, and that's going to open up a time remap. And I'm just going to put two keyframes, one at the beginning, one at the end. And again, I'm just going to adjust it a little bit, make it a little bit slower. And then I'm going to head over here, make sure that your frame blending is on. Go over to your clip, right click, go to frame blending, make sure that's on pixel motion. Highlight both the keyframes, press F9 on your keyboard, and go into the graph editor. So what I've done is I've taken both keyframes and I have moved them so that it is fast in the beginning, slow in the middle, and fast at the end. So it has like a nice flow to it, as you can, you can see. So once you've done that, get out of the graph editor and double click on your, uh, on your layer. And then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna mask out Kucherov or whoever the player, whatever you're trying to put the circle behind. Once you finish that, you're gonna to wanna to duplicate your layer and then delete the roto brush off the bottom layer. So now you're gonna have two layers. You're gonna have a mask, which is the top layer and a background, which is the bottom layer. Duplicate that bottom layer, so now that you have three, and go to that middle, middle layer and you're just gonna go up here to your toolbar. You're gonna to hold down the rectangle tool until it brings up this little sidebar here and you're gonna to wanna to pick the ellipse tool. You're going to want to make a nice little circle on top of the object that you're going to put the, the effect on. And then you're going to come down here to the mask. And you're going to want to keyframe mask expansion. And you're just going to want to feather the feather a little bit, maybe to like 50 or something. Whatever looks good, really. Move your timeline indicator to the end of the clip and go down to mask expansion and type in 1000. That's just gonna make the circle go all the way out. So highlight both of these keyframes on the mass expansion and hit F9 on your keyboard. That's gonna bring you back to the um, graph. And you're just gonna to wanna to drag the beginning up or down, depending if you have the circle going in or out. And then you're gonna to wanna to hold shift, grab the second keyframe and pull it to like, uh, three-fourths of the way. Once you have that done, go out of the graph editor, go to your bottom layer, and this is when you can like add your effects to the background that's gonna like uh, show up or go away with your circle. So I'm just gonna first of all motion tile that bottom bottom layer just so it looks a little more clean. I'm gonna throw on some invert and I mean, you guys can do whatever you want. I'm just picking invert because it's pretty easy. Let's go uh, luminance. No, nah, nah, saturation. Yeah, looks, that looks good. And then um, fast blur, maybe. Fast blur always looks decent. Blur it a little bit. So now when you uh, preview it, you get this nice, uh, this nice uh, circle. For the second method, unfortunately, you're going to have to have the Sapphire plugin installed. If you don't have it already installed, I highly suggest it. It's super powerful, gives you some pretty cool effects. But if you don't, just use the first method. It's gonna work the same way, just it might take you a little bit longer. But for the second method, you're gonna to wanna to start off by, well, I mean, just delete this mask off that middle layer there. Keep the effects in the background and drag wipe circle into that middle layer. Um, start off by keyframing the first, uh, from I guess in your clip, put that to 100, go to the ends, put it to zero, then right away you're going to see if you preview, circle's going to slowly come out. 
but it's really choppy and we don't really like that. So we are going to go to the graph editor, hold shift, bring that to like three quarters, like we did before, go to the other one, drop it down. So it's a little bit more fast at the beginning, slows down at the end, makes it look a little bit more smooth. So um, you might be wondering, how do I make this a little bit more softer? Like these edges are kind of hard. Well, if you go over here, it literally just says edge softness. So all you gotta do is just raise it up as much as you want. And it'll give that nice little soft, uh, soft look to the circle. But yeah, guys, that is gonna conclude today's tutorial. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found it helpful. If you uh, if you like this tutorial, leave a like. You don't have to. I'm not forcing you. Um, if you really enjoyed it, please subscribe. I'm gonna be posting more tutorials, hopefully daily, every other day. I don't know. We'll figure it out. If you have any suggestions, just put down in the comments. If you uh, want to know how an effect is done, link me the, the play or the edit or whatever, and I'll take a look at it, and I'll do my best to recreate it. But like I said before, guys, like, subscribe, do all that nonsense, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.